Okay, I'm hoping this works. I did a uh, video earlier that kind of talked about um, updating my own personal store at uh, kttaylorstudio.com. Um, and people found that helpful, but um, because it was a little bit off angle and didn't actually talk about full setting up the full store, um, I thought I would actually do another video starting basically from scratch, setting up the online version of the Leslie Grove Gallery Store. So all I've uh, done at this point is gone into um, Fine Art Studio Online, which is FASO.com. And I've gone down there and said, set it up for free, and I've set up a gallery. So this is where I'm at right now. So um, I'm going to just kind of work through, and hopefully it's not going to be too boring. Um, but I'm actually going to work through the... Um, Try and work through all the uh, the processes needed to kind of start an account. Um, we're going to be using our regular lesliegrovegallery.ca from the um, that's currently attached to our artist network website, and this site for us is going to be only used as a store. For my personal website at katetaylorstudio.com, it's used for everything because I just find that it's super easy and I really like it. So um, I'm going to just. There's tons of templates. I'm just going to start with one just to kind of see uh, if we think that it might work. So I'm going to apply this one to our website. Okay, um, the templates here can be changed at any point in time and you also have the ability to go in and modify any of the color palettes you can see here of the template. So this one is the, I think it was called the Tyler. Um, and then you can see there's multiple templates that I can use within that um, within that phrase. So I don't know, maybe I might go with stand. And I can kind of see what it looks like. I typically at this point, I'm just going to go with a standard, I think, just because I don't really know how things are going to um, how things are going to look. And also, I want to try and stick as much as possible to kind of the artist network colors. Um, but I also don't want to modify too much. Um, I want the site to be super simple and clean so that ultimately what ends up happening is that the um, the art itself is what really focuses. So let's work with this one for now. Knowing it can be changed at any point in time. Okay, so I'm going to exit this portion and go to the control panel. So this is the control panel, which is the back end. Um, you can see there's a lot of simple steps that you can actually go through yourself to kind of walk you through stuff, especially if this video is boring or doesn't work out, which is entirely possible. Um, so we're going to start off by actually uploading some artwork. So um, new artwork. And I think this is where you kind of saw that I was doing this before. Um, what I've done here is I've just actually pulled different art from, um, I'm hoping I can find it. Oh, where did I save it now? That's network. I think it's under there. Sorry. 2020. Okay, so I put in a couple of pictures here. So what I've done is I've actually, uh, at this point, I've asked for um, the board members. I'm just going to use their pictures as a test. So, for example, um, I'll just kind of maybe, maybe I'll just pull in all these right now. So, Okay, so there's eight photos here I'm going to upload. Now, for this test, I actually spent, um, I actually asked the board to send me pictures that were not specific sizes or anything because I wanted to test what it was going to be like to uh to kind of just show you how easy it is but also for me too when we're doing um, these larger online galleries I want to make sure it's as easy as possible for the people that are going to be managing these shows since obviously as you guys know it's all um, it's all volunteer so we want it to be easy okay so there's our continue um, and this is where I can kind of go in one of the things that's going to be really important with any of the um, the images that you're going to upload for us is going to be to have your name as well as the uh, the name of the painting and we're going to ask for a very specific reason for that and that's because it'll allow for example all of Carolyn's to be shown in the same place um, and her work she did tell me I'm going to actually just kind of make this up because I do have a spreadsheet here but I don't uh, I don't want to actually have to spend uh, the time kind of going through all this stuff And we're going to say, yes, it's available. Um, so 
So you can see that um, when this is your own, it's very easy because you know the sizes of everything already. If it's somebody else's, um, then this is again why we've, what we've asked for is we've asked for all of the information to be in the title. So it would be uh, Carolyn Lady Liarn, Temptation, 22 by 25, um, $250 to 2020. So that all of the information can be pulled from here so that we don't have to go back and forth and reference a bunch of different files. So I'm just going to kind of continue. Oh, I guess bronze doesn't really work because now they're going to be bronze. On canvas, that looks like it might be 44 by 44. Okay, anyway, so we're going to do the same thing with all of these ones here. Um, all right, I can see already we're going to have to add encaustic in here uh, as a new substrate, so that's fine. We can do that as we go through. So this is now just going to update these images. And it's going to think about it. Okay. So at this point, too, I can put them in any order I want. Um, and I think that for some of these shows, it'll be by artist. And for some of these shows, it'll be small, medium, large. Um, but that will actually depend on how we've asked you to sort of save, um, save your images. So I'm going to sort of save and continue. Now, with this particular um, site, because it's brand new, I've actually set up no stores at all yet. What we're going to do for um, the Riverdale Art Walk is we were, we're going to probably... Um, separate things into collections. Now we haven't totally figured this out, so I'm just gonna work right now with um, under $200 is gonna be one of our collections. Um, and we're gonna have another collection which is gonna be I don't know, 200 to 1,000, 10,000. That'd be a pretty big collection. And then just for the sake of, this is gonna be, oh, sorry. Not sure what happened there. over uh, $1,000. These are not going to be our categories, so I'm just using these as a, uh, as a sample. Okay, so what's happening now is we've got those three collections and we're going to try and put the work in different art collections. So if you go back to your artwork page here, you'll see that these are all the pieces that I've updated. And you can see that some of them have information, some of them don't. But by the time we upload this stuff, all of this information will be full. You can see that there's nothing actually currently written in the collection stage. So for example, if we go in here and we kind of go, okay, this piece here, um, it's going to go into the collection, which is over a thousand dollars. We know the medium is acrylic substrate is canvas because I hadn't filled this in before. There's no, um, there's no information. We're going to pretend that this is going to be 60 inches by 30 by two. Um, the retail price is going to be 3500 I have no idea how much this retail price actually is. So right now, again, we're just using this as, a, uh, as an example. So in the description, what we're going to be able to do is what our goal is here is actually for, as the Artist Network to drive customers and collectors to your website so that the artists can build relationships with their clients. Um, it's We're using the Artist Network and Riverdale Art Walk as a vehicle to be able to leverage our pretty extensive and robust social or marketing program, especially the digital marketing that we have going on. But ultimately we want you to build relationships with your, with your clients. And so for example, we would have something like, um, if interested in more work by this artist, whoa, it's hard for me to type because it, my camera's right in front of my face. Please contact or please visit uh, Jamie M A C L E A Fine Art dot um, oh, dot com. 
So this actually should then be hyperlinked to an actual page when we go live. And then we save. So you can see now on this page, we've got him in the over $1,000 collection. Um, we will actually, you know what I'm going to do? Go down here where this piece is $1,000. You can see here because I filled in the information before, it shows up here. We just have to add which collection it's going to be, which is over $1,000. Um, and then we can put the same thing in here where we will direct people to Carolyn's uh, website. So that's getting the art into the actual um, website. Now for e-commerce, we want to be able to actually create a store here. So if you go back to your uh, control panel, um, you're going to see this. These are your site web pages and you can change any of those web pages you want. Like you can change the names of them. You can change how it shows up. So for example, if we wanted to have the uh, galleries be the stores that we have, we can actually update that up here. Um, we can just go to the categories and, and change the names of them. So that's actually really easy. But we're going to move down and you can see here you can also integrate your Facebook, MailChimp. We'll do some of that stuff within the Artist Network site. That's going to be a little bit different than what you're going to want to do for yourself. Um, so for right now, we're going to go into the commerce. So we're going to set up PayPal. Um, we're going to connect it and then we're going to hopefully try and figure this out. It's been a long time since I've done this. So. All right, click the PayPal logo to set up your PayPal account. I already have a PayPal account. Okay, so we're now actually connected to PayPal. So let's go into, let's preview what this looks like. Oh, I guess I haven't filled any of this stuff in yet. So it looks weird. Okay, let's just put something in the homepage here. Uh, and this is where we will kind of write, you know, this show is blah, 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 all of the artists that are in the Riverdale Art Walk. We're so excited to have you guys. And then when you go into preview, you'll see how easy that was actually to change. And obviously it would be so much more effective if the copy was actually real. Okay, so um, our stores are under works right now. They can be under works or they can run right along here. So probably what we will do is we may have um, certain shows that uh, would be at the top. We haven't totally figured that out, but you can see here, it's pretty easy for people to see the work. Now people kind of go, oh my gosh, I love that. You can see who did it, what's what it's called. Um, here's Jamie and it has the prices here. So say you love Jamie's work, you want more information and you want to buy this. Again, there's this option to, um, I think I showed about this before. You can actually add this. Whoa. Okay. That's my mistake for, <laughs> for doing the wrong parameters. I guess it should have been 30 by 60. Um, but uh, under normal circumstances, this is pretty cool because you can actually see what it looks like in a room right now. I apologize, Jamie. I've totally screwed it up. Um, so what I can do here though, is it's like, wow, that was a total screw up. So I need to fix that. I can just go back into my control panel. Oh, sorry, in the back end of my control panel to my artwork. I can look at Jamie's piece and this should be 30. And say this should be 60. And in actual fact, given what that looks like, this is probably closer to 40. And then we can save. So go back to the front end again and you can see very easy for Jamie's piece to be here.
This is the artist's comment. So if you're interested in more work by this artist, please visit. These will be hyperlinked. I'm not sure why this isn't hyperlinking because when I did it before, it was hyperlinking. So we can figure that out um, to contact the artist about this artwork. So this will actually go to the artist network. Um, what we really want here is actually to direct the conversations to you. So not only because they may love this piece, but the size isn't right. And you may have the opportunity then to sell them a slightly different size that fits um, their house, which is perfect. Um, the other thing is that although we will provide a link that will help people to understand what the shipping costs are, if they're going to be um, purchasing this art and they're not from the uh, sort of the Toronto area or the area where the artist is located, they will have a sense of shipping, but the artist will be responsible for packing it up and shipping it. And, um, and we will kind of chart, there will be charges that will be associated there. So this is really why we want to encourage here. You can see now this is working much more effectively to be able to kind of see what it would, this piece would look like in a bedroom. Okay, so as we go through this, you can add your add it to your cart and you can kind of continue shopping and, and go to your checkout. So one of the things that we want to do here um, in setting up our e-commerce, let me just see if I can. Okay, so this is where we have the ability to kind of take a look at, do we want US dollars or Canadian dollars? Um, I think we want Canadian. Um, there's a couple of ways we can manage this. We can add a shipping percentage. We've decided not to do that um, because we're really going to try and encourage people to be able to use the uh, the porch pickup if possible, which would be um, would be great. So this one should be marked yes. So therefore, once Jamie's piece gets sold, if someone else is interested, they can see that the piece is sold. But this piece will still show on the gallery, which means that people again can go through and take a look at um, at how they can. Um, Oh, I completely lost my train of thought. How they can continue the conversation and maybe Jamie might have the opportunity to sell more work. Um, and so when that is changed, then we can kind of uh, put that in there. There's also um, abilities in here to add taxes um, and that would be done through your PayPal account. So this is this, let me just go back to that section for once more. So right here, use PayPal shipping. So what this does is that this disables the uh, FASO amounts, which are right here in terms of the pre-order shipping amount, so you can add the percentage. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're actually going to probably um, have PayPal give you the options or put a link to um, to FedEx so people have a sense of what the shipping costs are. So that's kind of how that's gonna work. So I hope that this has been clear. I hope it's kind of made sense to you. It's been, you can see that it's pretty easy to kind of get to the point where you've got a, a store. If you already have a PayPal account as well, it makes it pretty easy. Um, you know, for the artist network, we really want to make sure that we can encourage people to go directly to, um, to the artist website so that you can start conversations. If you actually have a, st an online store already, that's even better because then I think it starts to get people kind of going to your, your store. You can see here, I'm still missing a bunch of things. I have to add the bio and activate the account. Activating the account will also change the uh, URL. So um, you can have your personalized URL and your, you can register your domain if it's not already registered. So anyway, um, hopefully that's been helpful and um, I will post that if it's of any interest. Have a great day and happy selling.